Runners, I'm Laura and I'm here to give you a review of the On Cloud Ace. I was so excited to try this shoe. I can't tell you how excited I was to try this shoe. It was like waiting for Christmas. Um, I love support, stability shoes and getting my hands on the on version of this. Ooh, I was excited. Uh, I don't think any shoe that came out of the box could have lived up to what I had imagined in my mind this shoe would be like. Um, and it didn't. It's a good shoe. But it wasn't the the fantasy shoe that I had made it up to be. Let me talk you through why. First off, it is very secure. Let's look at the back. Oh, look at that. That is, I'm pressing pretty hard there. Um, that's a secure heel. It kind of cradles your foot. You feel like you're nice and uh, secure in there. It's a well put together, very, you know, we're going to talk about the price soon. Uh, it's an expensive shoe, but it feels well made, uh, it feels expensive and just even picking it out of the box, you're like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a solid shoe. It feels nice and plush when you put it on, uh, the tongue, separate, I love a separate tongue than, uh, not a gusset, so that's nice. Slightly narrower feet I have, so gussets tend to reach up, uh, so that is pretty good and so I could get that nice and snug because you need that in a support shoe you need your foot to be nicely laced in there one thing I would say about that though is that for me the laces were kind of a good length to along the short side now because I've got a slightly narrower foot that was fine if you got a wider foot you might find that you're a little limited you won't be able to double knot them but they feel pretty secure. I do do up that, that last little hole there, which shoes come without being laced up on there. Because I like a snug fit and a secure ride, I do lace that up, which means that I use a little bit extra lace. Um, so yeah, be aware, if you're doing that, you're not gonna be double knotting. So the upper feels plush, feels nice. The round the toe, nice and light here, considering you've got all this nice padding around here that's keeping you nice and uh, secure, when we get around the front, it's very light mesh here. Uh, you are going to have nice ventilation, not going to get sweaty feet around the toes. And let's talk colours. Uh, this is a woman's shoe. It's blue. There's no uh, pinks in this range. Very happy about that. Um, there are three colours in both the men's and the women's. The women have got a white with kind of like a little caramelly detail on it. This light blue and then a black. The men have got a white, a dark blue or navy and a black. So um, on not breaking out of their signature colour palette of greys and blues, quite sophisticated aren't they? Um, they're not a brand that are going to go into the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost million colourways bright shoes. They're going to always stick to this kind of sophisticated Steve Jobs type, uh, limit your colour options, don't make any choices. So we best get on to what it's like to run in. Uh, it wasn't the dream that I was expecting it to be. It wasn't running on clouds. I was expecting a nice squishy feeling under my foot. Um, something to sink into and it wasn't that it was a lot firmer underfoot than I was expecting it was comfortable uh, and the heel I have to say the heel didn't even think about it um, until afterwards when I was considering it uh, the heel was very comfortable now I say this as somebody who has had heel pain before from related to plantar fasciitis so I am conscious of that usually but uh, heel not a peep out of that. Uh, the front is where I noticed it being less comfortable. And mostly it was on the toe push off. When I was pushing off the big toe, that's where it felt a bit too firm for me. 
Now, I don't like to read too much about a shoe before I go for a run in it. I knew this was a support shoe and I was like, great, that's, that's me. I knew it was for long runs. I thought, great, I can see myself marathon training in that. But then I kind of put that aside, put away the uh, literature and thought I'll go for a run and then I'll look at that and see if uh, that makes sense to me. Now, given that my feeling, my impression of it was that the front was a bit firmer, the heel was great, I read the information, hey, there's two different materials going on there at the front and the back. Under the heel, you've got clouds in Helion Super Foam. And under the front, you've got rebound rubber four foot clouds. It is a little bit, you can see them bouncing about there, the, the squishiness. But then the toe, no clouds at the front of the toe. Um, whereas at the back, we've got ooh, 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 firmer there. Does that make sense? At the front, I felt it was firmer, but they're squishier. At the back, I felt brilliant and they're firm. Go figure. So then I did a little, little bit of reading on On's description of the shoe. So while they say these are great for longer runs, uh, marathon training, ultra marathons, this is what they're saying these are designed for. But then they also say good for heavier runners. Now, I don't think I'm a heavier runner. Lockdown has not been easy, but I wouldn't put myself in the heavier runner category just yet. So I don't know how much you weigh. I'm like a size 10, not a heavier runner. So maybe this is not the shoe for me. I can imagine if you are a heavier runner, uh, if you're a man, generally they're bigger than women, aren't they? Um, this might be the shoe for you. Maybe you need a, bit, a little bit more heft going into that shoe to get the full benefit of what's going on underfoot there. So let's look at the stats. The women's shoe is coming in at 267 grams. It's available in sizes three to nine and in white, blue or black. The men's shoe comes in at a, ooh, a whopping 335 grams. The men's is available in sizes six and a half to 13 and a half and comes in white, navy or black. They've both got a nine millimeter heel to toe drop and coming in at 170 pounds, that price tag's almost as heavy as the shoes. And on say around 15% total recycle content in these shoes. In summary, it's a good, sturdy, well-made shoe. It wasn't perfect for me. If I felt nice and secure in it, my foot felt nicely snug in there, not a lot, of, not moving about as I as I ran. My only quibble with it really is that I was expecting a softer ride. It was cushioned, but it wasn't soft. Um, and particularly through that big heel joint and toe felt a bit rigid and a bit too firm for me to love it. If you have this shoe, Tell me in the comments below, do you love it? Do you not? If you love a stability shoe, tell me which ones you love because I want to try them. See ya!